so yesterday I did trade but I didn't have the time to upload the video and I did trade today too so today's um, video is going to be a recap of yesterday and today so up on the screen right now I have yesterday's trades yesterday I did trade Apple um, two trades both call options and um, both scalps the second one um, played out a little longer than the first one you know I like to get in on the price movement try to um, catch the catch the um, ask while it's moving up or down in a put and then ride that for you know a quick profit that's my that's my go-to strategy um, and depending on the indicators and stuff like that decides whether or not I'm going to get into a call or a put so I'm going to just say right now today and yesterday were both green days I made money both days so um, it's a good start to the week it's a good Monday and Tuesday and I'll go over my um, profits at the end of the video All right, so this is yesterday's trade. I did end up watching it as the market opened. And I'm probably gonna fast forward it a little bit. I'm the 106.84 is yesterday, is Friday's close. Or when I zoom out, I don't really remember. It's either Friday's close or it's um, Friday's um, all time or Friday's daily high or the high of the day. So at this point, I have pretty sure around five hundred five hundred dollars of settled um, cash yesterday right around there 505 just over five hundred dollars so these are September the earliest I can get is September 25th so as of yesterday it was four days out so four days to expiration the um, the premiums are a little more expensive and they're not gonna move as much as a same day or one day expiration so I'm just looking for something with decent volume. But I'm looking to see if this thing breaks over. I mean, the day's just starting out. So you gotta let these um, indicators pan out a little bit, especially all the MAs. So at first, because tech was selling off for the past week, and I've been making money on Apple buying puts because it's been selling off the past week or two weeks, um, off the rip, I thought I would be getting into puts today. But as I see this thing moving up so fast, and it's already above all the MAs and I think it's trying to head for 106.85 I decide to try to get into this thing I mean I really have no no break for an indicator like I'm just going strictly off momentum and these solid green candles. Look at this first candle. This first green candle in the one minute. It really has no wick. So I decide to get in. And I can't remember if I get in or not. Right here. Four contracts. Alright. So I didn't get in right there. Would have been a nice spot to get in too. 
it's hard to catch on the momentum moving up it's really hard to catch it because you got to click the ask then hopefully the price stays around that or goes down a little bit and comes back up then you have to click place order then you have to click the confirmation box for the buy I wish that they would get rid of this box just like stocks they just let you um decide if you want that confirmation box or not so that's it so I'm in those at 115 or 114 four contracts immediate profit because we're in the green no red yet already up 20 so I'm like you know what let me try to scale out click the sell market for two I got filled on the drop so it wasn't too great wish I would have clicked that a little before and got filled around 105.32 but I didn't we come back up with the other two still in the profit and I'm negative seven but I'm just holding it in my eyes this thing is definitely moving up toward that 106.85 and these solid solid green candles are proving that there we go next one minute candle I wanted to wait for I'm selling them right there and I don't get filled right away it's so weird there's a lot of volume on these contracts even for two contracts and I'm trying to sell a market and I just am not getting filled with a market order it's the weirdest thing that never happened to me where it took so long to get filled so there you go 2119 um, I still have thirty dollars left and I should have just stopped right there but I ended up buying let's just fast forward all right here <laughs> because the momentum was still moving I ended up looking for a way out of the money contract with um low volume and I end up getting in one so these so these are so far out of the money that you need a big price jump for the for the um bid to move up on these because don't forget I bought I probably bought this around 29 so you're already down one cent because you need to sell market you're gonna sell on the on the um, bid no I think I bought this at 30 So I'm down two dollars. Let me. This is just a a waste of a trade, really. Um, this thing ends up bouncing. I'm down three fifty. Ends up bouncing, coming back up. I just have um. Faith that this is um. Very bullish yesterday, and it was. Man, Apple, Apple definitely had a good rip up all day. So look how much this is moving up and I'm still not in the money yet. Look at this. This is this goes to show you. Should I end up wanting to just put a limit order in? Which I end up canceling anyways. Let me just fast forward this. So I'm still not in the money yet. I'm still 50 cents down. There we go. This thing needs to start to fill this gap right here. See this gap? This gap wants to be filled all the way to yesterday's high, 106.85. Ends up breaking through that. But I'm not waiting with one contract. I was just trying to get the $25 for the day. Because that's my daily goal. But I end up trying to sell it. I end up selling it for $1. <laughs> so 
when I hit the Yeah, so it sold for one dollar minus fees. So I, I don't know. I'm almost at twenty-two dollars. I was right above twenty-one with the other trade, and then all that time for not even a dollar was a waste. So that was yesterday's trade. Here we go. So I bought the one at thirty-one. I sold at thirty-two. You're talking eight minutes for a dollar. And I actually lost. If I would have sold all four at 120, it would have made more money. Because I sold two at 120. And then because I was stuck in those other two, and it wouldn't fill me, because no one wanted to buy them, I ended up selling for $1.19. So that's that trade yesterday. All right. And here we are with today's trade. Same thing, looking at the um, opening bell. One ten oh seven. Yesterday's close. Already gapped the open, gapping up. So we opened pretty high. So because we opened pretty high. You got people who want to just take their profit from pre-market. So so the price is going down. Everyone's selling. They're, they're getting their profit. And then you got the people who got in underneath this. Now the price is going down pre-market. So they got to get out. And the shorts are coming in. So everyone thinks it's overextended because of the couple of days... It's uh, sold off, so I'm guessing the shorts are coming in and they're shorting this thing down. So um, I'm undecided what I want to do at this point. But I've been pretty, I've been doing pretty good with Apple, so I've just been sticking with trading it. Um, the spy's been very choppy. So these contracts are a little cheaper today because now they're four days to expiration. Or I'm sorry, three days to expiration. But same things yesterday, September 25th. And I want to see this thing break. I want to see this thing break the 200 moving average. Or on this chart, on the five minute, the 50 moving average, which it's pretty damn close to. So if this thing fails all the way down to um, the 200, I'm going to try to get in the puts because it's not holding. This is very bearish. If you guys could hear that, there's a street sweeper that's going around the block of my house about eight times already. So sorry for the background noise. So I'm learning to just not rush, not be in a rush, not rush trade, not rush anything because when you rush, say I was to say I was to um try to get into a call right here. Oh, it's pushing up. It, you know, there's the pullback off the open. Everyone got their profit. The shorts came in. Now 
No, it's not the case. It's, it's not a bounce up. It's a false breakout. It's trying to, you know, people would say, oh, it's going to try to break through this um, 50 moving average. Well, that's what I would wait for if I was to go for a call. Actually, probably VWAP. So let me fast forward a little bit. Because I admit, the thing is when I'm making these videos, I should edit them better, but I don't. But I miss a lot of entries where I try to get in. And because I miss, I think I start getting a little overwhelmed and worked up and FOMO. So I try to get in real quick, try to buy the next, you know, the next available ask. And I've noticed I do that a lot. So man, if I, so we broke below the 200 moving average on the one minute. So I'm definitely gonna get in some puts, but what strike price do I want? 110 looks good. The volume's 2600, the open interest is 19,000. Easy to get in, easy to get out. But the 105s look good too, and they're pretty cheap. All right, let's fast forward. So I don't have this much buying power. So I did try to get in right there, which would have probably been a good entry. And then I tried to get in right there too, but still I didn't have enough buying power. So right there, I got in. Let's pause that. Place order. So limit price for 109. It's right between the bid and the ask. For three contracts, worth $327. Sorry, I had an itch. I have to keep forgetting I'm recording. All right. Um, so this is a big, this is so bearish right now. Look how solid that previous one minute um, bearish candle is. I mean, it opened and it never even, it never even, went above what the opening price of that candle. So I just want to get a quick scalp. That's it. So I sold two. I sold two and I'm hanging on to one. So I could try to ride one down a little more. But I got a bad fill on those two. Here's the next one minute candle and the drop. So right here, I'm like, I'm getting out. Same thing, I can't. Before I was getting, I don't know what's going on yesterday and today, but the previous days, if you, when I watch, look back and watch my videos, I'm getting filled a lot faster on these contracts. And I thought I would have made a lot more money than I made off that. That's yesterday's. So only 1438. When with those two contracts, I thought it was around 20 something. And then I thought I hit a good um, spot on the bid on that last one. But I really didn't. That was a sh that was a shitty fill. So I still have a hundred and eighty dollars of um, settled funds. So I'm gonna get back in. Now 
these cheaper ones are looking pretty good the 106 20 actually the 105s are looking better but I don't know why I picked that one I should I I should have picked the 105s I could have got in with three contracts on that instead of two now that I'm watching it And I missed that fill, of course. That would have been a good spot. Why am I at the 106.25? I think I meant to be at the 105. But I'm just hard in um, concentration right now. Just can't seem to get filled on these. I know I still want to get in puts on this. So I was waiting for a test to the 9MA, and there it is. Did not break through. So it's just a bounce off the 9MA. Well, let's see what the next candle does. Did I miss that one also? Yeah, so I missed that fill. I I must have tried to get into about if I got into every trade that I tried to get into today, I would have made like ten trades. This is what sucks about not having a um fully funded account. <laughs> Can't take that many trades. I wanna get in this thing. Alright. There we go. It's very bearish. Don't have my position window open. There we go. There's the push down. This thing. Look at the five minute. This is why I bought puts. Look at the five minute. If any, if there's any balance, it's going to be at 110. I'm not going to wait for 110. And I had it on buy. There you go. I'm taking my profit right there. That's it. I'm in and I'm out. That was, these two contracts were better than my first trade. So $31.90. So $32 trade today, which is great. And 20 something yesterday. And I could have made a little more if I held. Well, you know what? I'm not going to be greedy. But I would have had to sell right there. At the very bottom, which is hard to do. All right, let's get to numbers. So thirty-one ninety-seven for today, and um, yesterday and today, so I'm up fifty. Let's just call it $54 on the week, which is really good. So it's 11.5% I'm up this week of my account, which is pretty good in two days. And here's all my orders. Alright, bought three, 109, sold two at 114, that sold one at 114, so 
the holding that one didn't even matter. Look at this, tried to get in, missed. Wait, no, that was yesterday. Then I tried to get in two, missed, tried to get in two, missed, tried to get in two, missed. Here's where I got in 87. Um, limit for 87 got filled to 86 and then sold like 30 seconds later for 95. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today and yesterday. Um, I'll try to still put out a video every day, but I no, I won't be able to. So there's going to be days where I don't have a video. <clears throat> so um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'll trade. I should be able to make a video. So I'll see you guys then.